Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I guess it's good afternoon. Guten Abend. Guten, I don't know, at this point. So it's Wednesday. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded, uploaded my last video. Um, because it was Thanksgiving and project week and I didn't have anything super amazing to post about that. Nor did I have time. So this week is our trip to Poland. Um, we're going to a couple different places. Hi Maria! Hi. I just want to be in your <laughs> um, So we're going to Poland. This is our group that's going with. Um, we're on our way. Hi Cameron. On our way to the airport right now. Yay! So we're in the Dortmund train station and we've noticed that we have this pattern every time we go to train stations. Anytime Cameron, Marissa and I go anywhere at a train station, we have to stop at KFC. All the time. Every time. It's just like tradition now. First coleslaw I've had in Germany in KFC. Okay, we're flying and our lovely flight, Ryanair again. So hopefully this one won't break down on us. It's the first time that they saw the snow. This is so exciting. It's like barely trickling outside and they are just ecstatic. <laughs> no, get me the phone. I want to record. Like. I want to touch. Me too. You want to go outside? No. Oh. No. It's really cool. Felicia, how is it? This. <laughs> Snow. <laughs> yeah, I feel know. like Elsa. <laughs> so happy. Let it go. Let, let it go. go. The cold is oh. <laughs> Oh, it bothers me. Oh, it bothers me. <laughs> to start with the Auschwitz 1. In the Auschwitz 1, we should stay more or less 1 hour and 40, 1 hour and 45 minutes. That will be different than how many visitors we're going to have on the same place in that area. And when we finish the, uh, this tour of the first part, we're going to have a short 15 minutes of break. And after the break, we're going to visit the second part on the same bus, which I am here in line um, at the um, Auschwitz Memorial Museum. I don't remember the exact term for it. Um, I'm not going to take a lot of video because for obvious reasons. So this is just like an introduction. I'll tell you how it went after. So today we are going to uh, give with Lee a free day because we are going to be also famous. So we are going to be with you all this day, explaining you what is our plan 
and what are we going to do and we hope you enjoy with us. You want to add something? Nope, that was good, very good. Thank you. Kids is from Spain. <laughs> That's it, see you later. Hi, where are we? Uh, I forgot the name. Somewhere. We don't know, we don't know. It's somewhere in, <laughs> in Poland. Poland, but it's super frozen. But it's cute, right? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. very nice. Okay, let's make like... <laughs> super cute. This is a kind of market, but it's, everything has like snow. And we are happy because it's not snowing right now. Right? Yeah, it's true. It was snowing all yesterday, so it's good that it's not snowing, but it's still really cold, so... Yeah, and now we are going to go to a mountain or something, so see you later! Bye-bye! of the mountain we just took the gondola up here um, I found out the city name it's Zakabana <laughs> yeah that's it so take a look you have to know we are like super high yeah tell, tell them like when when we were going up what you said it was very steep and I said what happens if like the brakes broke we just go down like super fast we will discover it and now we're going down yeah yeah, yeah. we'll show you guys <laughs> yeah you too I want the other picture <laughs> This is super weird. It's like a market in the <laughs> So yesterday you saw my cohorts here give me a free day and show us what we did yesterday. I hope you liked that. Um, but today we're doing a free city tour of Krakow. Krakow. And um, we're just going to go explore, see what there is. There's all kinds of cool architecture here and a bunch of really cool places. I got suggestions from a Twitter user, Krakow Experience for tourists. They're really cool. Go check them out when you get a chance. So please give a look at the church. Church. This is St. Mary's Basilica, the church which is coming from 14th century. However, St. Mary's Basilica is famous not only because of Gothic architecture, it's famous also because of blue legends. Towers of a church are not equal. So give a look at the towers. Can you see that the tower on the right side is way shorter than the tower on the left side? Can you see that? Yeah. So according to legend, those towers were built in 14th century by two brothers. The younger brother was building south the south tower of the St. Mary's Basilica, and the older brother was building the second tower, this taller tower, and they had to kind of like arrive. We're going to finish our first thing interesting, and we're going to talk about the little bit of the Because of the law, there's no um, queens, only kings. Even if you are a girl, 
you was called you was you was called king. So I'm gonna be the next king of Poland. King Maria. Yeah. <laughs> Go King Maria. to the airport to get home trip advisor warning or trip trip something I can't even think right now I'm so tired trip like <laughs> advice do not get a flight at 6 a.m. and you have to travel for an hour and be there three hours early because then you have to leave your hotel at 2 in the morning which means you don't sleep all day it's so great We made it to the airport. It's three o'clock in the morning, and security is not even open right now, so we can't even get into like lay down by the gate, which they don't. They haven't even announced the gate numbers or anything, because it's so freaking early here in the airport. Don't do early flights. They're the worst flights. <laughs> 